if y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hair your league. So, um, we are about to get into this video. It says, here is my roommate who makes everyone uncomfortable. I don't know what done happened, but let's get into it. You're lying. Get the fuck out of lie. my face before this gets left. What? It, it will go left. I'm, I don't give a what fuck about- What are you going to do to intimidate me? You think that I'm actually- I'm, I've been- I've been doing I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Don't fucking threaten me. I don't give a fuck. All right. Well, you don't sit there and say shit to me like it's going to go left, little girl. All right? I'm a grown ass woman. Talking, Stop fucking playing with me. I'm not going to be spoken to like I that. I don't give a fuck. I know you don't because I don't, you don't give a fuck. Well, stop you don't talking to me. Yourself, stop talking to me. You don't have enough. You decency. don't know me enough. You don't have enough decency. I don't to eat here. Yourself. I don't you eat here. Do. I don't eat here. You are ghetto. I. You are not raised properly. You bitch. You take this shit. Get the fuck out of here. Now it's about to go left. Get the yeah, cause who the fuck you calling ghetto? <laughs> fuck out you, of my face. Well, left because why? Because I said it's ghetto for you not to clean up after yourself? Because you're disrespecting you, me. I, you're disrespecting everyone here. You I just threw shit in my face. Here. That's disrespect. I will throw you outside on the fucking street. And I will fuck and you up. The door. I will fuck you up. Seriously? Yeah, get out of my face. I'm not in your face. You, you're walking up on me. You fucking came across okay, here and grabbed my shirt. Out of my face. That's disrespect. Now you're you in my face. Out of my face. You're in my face, gang. You bitch ass man. Get out of my face! Get the fuck out of my face! Why I'm not going nowhere! You're a bitch! You're a bitch! You're the epitome of a punk ass little bitch! You're a bitch! Your mother raised a bitch! You're 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 a bitch! I stay in a four bedroom and for months I've been dealing with a roommate who has an eight month old puppy dog uh, who he's too lazy, I guess, to take down the two flights of stairs to use the bathroom where everybody else's dog goes. And look at all this open space. Who the fuck right. You to every day there's a fresh piss, piss puddle in front of our front door every single day, um, as well as dog shit about every other day. And if it's not in front of our front door, it trickles down the staircase. Literally, if I wanted to invite somebody to my apartment, they would have to hold their breath going up the stairs all the way until they enter my apartment and shut the door. That's how bad Damn. it is. Now, I know some of y'all are probably wondering, well, why would why would he do that? I don't know. He's not fat. He doesn't have ankle knee problems. He's just Trifling. lazy. He works out. He's young college student just lazy i don't know i don't even want to know because i'm sure the reason why would drive me to insanity even more than not knowing i don't know but let me show ye not ask questions you do not want the answer to. show you what i'm talking about you can see like the puddle like the the spot in which all that shit has just dried up and withered away i'm gonna show you Ugh. oh no so I've been dealing with this for months and no, I'm not going to talk to him about it because I, we've already had a few disputes and he's very egoistic, like egotistical, mm -hmm. doesn't receive. They don't have emotional intelligence. Anything like he's all about himself. He thinks he's hot shit. And I'm the type of person, if I come to you with my concern, not even concern about disrespect, uh, respectfully and you disregard me, it's going to be a problem. So I'm just not even going to give him the chance. But I've been dealing with this for, we've been dealing with this for a long time. Um, I would show you the, mm, get that one bedroom. Get it's that one be bedroom get because, get that one bedroom. Get I, you, you, you bitch. 
For those of you wondering if you should get that. Yeah, it's time for So, them that's bullshit. Food. What, butter or something? You're lying. Get I the fuck out of lie. my face before this gets left. What? It, it will go left. I'm, I'm, I don't give a what fuck about... What are you gonna do? Damn, she already did stories on that shit. Damn. I'm over there okay, looking at his the, the long awaiting story time. So, I'm gonna start from the beginning. I moved into this place like a month and a half ago. Uh, not still. And he was not here, but apparently... Apparently, he was here before I got here, but he was kicked out. Huh. He got kicked out because he folks. was jagging off in huh? the kitchen. You know, he was doing his little one-two dry in the kitchen. No lotion. No. How Just, you know? You know Fran with no lotion. Beat his bongos. And Not bongos. Um, one of he uh, was beating the kabonga My sister was in the kitchen cooking, and he was just walking around the house, just do what he needs to do. <laughs> and he got kicked out, so I guess like two. Well, how he two, get to come back? Two weeks after I got here, he showed up, and he's never washed a dish. He's never swept, cleaned up behind his dirty, nasty dog. Never. He eats other people's food, touch other people's stuff, talk to people crazy. He's also a racist. He makes fun of one of our roommates, Paco. He makes fun of his accent because he's not, he's from Mexico or Spain. He also do, doesn't think women should do what men does. He's very sexist. So he's very, he's like the worst person to live with. And. I ain't gonna lie. Well, people be in situations like this. Boy, Airbnb me. And granted, you can get into some shit with an Airbnb these days. But pick a struggle, goddamn. In a hotel room. They got hotels now. It's so many. Like, it's really hard to be homeless nowadays if you could just take your ass to work. You'd be all right. One day, that, that sense, day, you know. the day before I posted that video, that day, he, the first time I've ever in my life seen that man wash a dish, he literally just started washing dishes. And then he starts leaving these stupid notes around the house talking about clean up after yourself and wash the dishes behind you. Mind you, I have a job. I have a full job that I, I'm at work all day, every day. You can ask my best friend, my sister. I'm at work all day, every day. Everybody in this house has a job but him. I don't have a job. He sits in this house all day, every day, fucking shit up, and expect people to clean up after him. And like I told him before that video started recording, you're almost... 50 years old. Why would I clean up after a grown ass man? Right. My dad, my dad never taught me to do that. What? I'm not cleaning up after no man that can do it themselves. Part two. Yeah, I don't know okay, how they all became roommates and shit. Here's part two. So, this all started because, first of all, I was off. I was, I worked. I don't uh, think six, they roommates with weeks. leases and shit. You know, sometimes you just say Six days a week. And I, that was my only off day. Like, only. Because I've been working. Like, I'm trying to move. I'm trying to get money to move out. Because he's a fucking weirdo, bro. Um, So, I went downstairs. Because my sister, she, she was just getting off work. And she asked me for her gas money. So, I went to go give her the money. And, then and you she ain't bought me home some pizza. So, like, so I the fucking went downstairs. Something. I did not leave my room that whole day until I went to go give her the money. Like, so, if my name fucked up and your name fucked up, come on, we we can't be doing this. What the fuck have we been doing wrong? <laughs> Life just ain't right. So I left. I came back with my pizza, and he up in there yelling like at the top of his lungs. So I'm like, what the fuck? 
what is you yelling about? <laughs> like, what's what's up? He's like, I'm tired of uh, living with messy people. So I proceed to tell him, you the only one in the house that don't clean up, sir. You the only one that's messy in here, sir. Yeah. So he was yelling. Mind you, the dishes that was in the sink. Yeah, I'm learning late too, though. My sister that bought the dishes. Everything. They're not her dishes. He's yelling at me about dishes that, that he didn't even purchase. About food that he didn't even buy. So... Like, who put I him said, out the first time? So, what have you bought to make you want to do all this? This is, First of all, this is not your house. Second, you don't buy shit. You don't do shit. You're just here. Whose house? With your dirty-ass dog. You're just here. So, he gets mad, starts talking about, oh, you are a terrible person and then he starts to tell me that I'm ghetto and ratchet. And it's Black History Month. Who finna fight me? <laughs> Hello? Second. Hello? Or third. He he starts to tell me about, oh, you don't do nothing in here. I say, I, I'm at work all day. So whatever happens here is not my business. I eat at work. And on top of that, there's a grocery store right next door. I eat at work. I don't I don't need to eat here. And when I buy food, I take my food right where I'm at. Because guess what? I don't want you to touch my stuff. Part three. So Come on now, friend. You better hurry up. What what else happened? So in the video, you see me grab the cup. I grabbed the cup because he kept calling me a ghetto bitch. And I'm like Anybody that know me know that bitch word, that's going to get you touched. And I'm not talking about by the hands of God. I'm going to put all hands and feet on you. And I'm not playing. I do not like that word. My mama named me Jaleesa Renee, not bitch. Don't call me that. So it, it went there. He picked up ice cream and tried to chuck it at me. And I chucked a big ass cup of ice water on him. Mm -hmm. And then he starts walking up on me. He's, this is me. I'm backing up. Him walking up. I'm I like, would never right, trust cool. the so lamb with somebody like that. That's when the phone fumbles because I dropped the phone. And I squared up with him. And I tell him, look, you may have been in fights in your, in your long ass life. But this fight is not the fight that you want. Please back right. down. And I'm tired. Before I really hurt you. I'm I'm really like that. And I, I don't I don't like to show people that, but it gets like that. So I had to educate him real quick because <laughs> I'm not the one. So he starts walk one of these. So I had to defend myself. I grabbed this ass up real quick like this. Choked his ass up. Ripped his shirt off and his chain. Ripped all that shit off. And he's like, he proceeds to tell me, a black woman, on Black History Month, <laughs> if I hit him, he's going to call the cops. And they're going to be on his side because he's white. And Damn. we're in an all-white neighborhood. And I'm going to end up like George Floyd. Ooh. He told me that out of his mouth. Oh, so my God. I went Bitch. off. Jail. <laughs> off. The neighbors heard me. My sister heard me outside. Y'all would have lost my mind. Cause oh, mind you, my God. I told you in part two, my sister went to the gas station because I went to give her, I gave her gas money. Oh, girl. And she, she got me some pizza. Oh, she was gone. Mind. Nobody was here but me and him. I really could have fucked that man up if I wanted to. But you know, the Lord. Hello. Come on, Jesus. He told me not to do it because guess what? God gonna handle him. Karma's a bitch, and she's the meanest bitch I've ever met in my life. Him and his ugly dog. Sir, you act like I just went outside and was like, hey, random stranger, please come be our roommate because we need a, an extra roommate. Well, I've never met this man in my life. He's the owner of this place. He's his friend. 
I don't oh, know him. That makes Actually, he's more. not his friend. He's just somebody that pay rent here. I don't know him. I had no say in who moves in and move out because I only been here two weeks before he got here. So who the fuck am I? Like, what? I just mind my business, go to work, make my money. That's when, That's the life I live. I don't, like, I didn't come into this thing thinking like, oh, as a grown woman, I would just be scared to live with a man. No. You should be scared to live with a man you don't know. What the fuck? What? Y'all not vigilant enough out here for me. Like, people think shit sweet and like it's safe and shit. Oh, because what he gonna do to me? That. What you mean? What he gonna do to me? Girl, oh, okay. people crazy. Not part Here's four. part four. What else? So, after... All of that went down. He just, I'm trying to be mature because, you know, I don't want to go to jail. That's not, that's not a place for me. I'm too cute for jail. I keep telling people that. So, I'm like, bro, just chill out. You too old for this. I'm not going to keep arguing with you. You don't want these hands. So, as soon as my sister's boyfriend got here. He cleans up the whole fucking mess. Clean the whole kitchen up. Then he want to talk nice and act like everything is peaches. Because he know my brother going to get up there with him. Period. He going to get up there. And I don't want to involve other people in my problems. But you a grown ass man. Like I'll fight you if I have to. Like I will. But not when I have my brother here. I'm going to ask him to handle that for me. Handle that. Handle that for me. But, um, yeah, that's what happened. Now he keep leaving these stupid notes around, talking about clean up after yourself, when he only did the dishes once. Since I've been here, me and my sister has been the only two people doing the dishes. And there's six people in this house. What? Whoever that landlord like, is, what? he making a bag. We don't do the dishes once because that whole week we didn't touch the dishes because we were at work. We had, we was working morning to night shifts. Like, I got off at 11 every night. Like, well, what? Okay. So I was definitely about to say that you're going to have on an extended stay. Clean the fucking kitchen. Please extend if it. You stay have your way it, up out of there. Clean it up. You're here all day. You're the one making the mess. That's common sense. Girl. You're not making any money. You're not doing anything with your free time. So just clean up. You're the only one here to do it. Everybody else has a job. We took one week off of doing the dishes. We did not touch the dishes. We was at work all day, every day. It can't be six six people staying in a crib and it's not a majority in there. Like a majority, like four people know each other, but two don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, it seems like don't nobody know each other in there. And now it's so an if issue. something wants to happen to one of them, ain't nobody helping. But now we trying to figure out how we're gonna move out because the lease is almost up, like in a month, and, and we don't want to sign a new lease because he's here. So everybody's moving out, and we gotta figure out how we're gonna come up with this money fast to move out. Cause like this is ridiculous. Like, this is crazy. The lighter was there because I was about to smoke a blunt in the spoon. Oh, girl, she is playing. All right, y'all. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, It's not uncommon that she got roommates and shit. But it's just very, very not so safe to just stay with strangers but let alone a man you don't even know and he you know that's too close for comfort child that's how you end up on channel nine news but y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below love y'all appreciate y'all hell yeah